Well, what do you think, sir? Uh, happy, I guess. <laughs> yeah, he just got his first elk. Beautiful uh, chunk of cow. So it's awesome. We needed some meat. So uh, yeah, happy to get this, get it out of the bush and uh, get processed. Yeah, so, so this is tanning this fisher and a mink. Another fisher that he's helping a friend with. And uh, coyote drying. So we're already gonna go to fur harvester's auction. We got about five more tanned ready to go. All right, first box got a nice weasel. So good start. Bait was robbed out of this one, so we had to hang it by a wire. It's not the best box, but it's ready to go now. Uh, did you put the call lure on it yet? Yeah, I did. All right, take it now. Third box and very, very light colored Martin. Very light. Well, I've been getting some requests for some light ones. So. What noticeable though is this. The usually back it's half. Like dark, like the legs and tail are usually like dark brown, but this one's more of a chocolate color. Yeah, that, yeah, even the brown is not dark. <laughs> That's awesome. Better look. Beautiful light. Almost canary. Color. Face is completely white. That fish squished, unfortunately, but other than that, uh, yeah, it's awesome. Well, William's checking the weasel line with us, and we got one Martin box out, and uh, this has been a good spot. This is Martin number five in this spot, which is crazy. Right close to home here. Nice silvery, long tail, good head catch. Beauty. Good uh, location there, sir. Yeah. Gonna take this box down now. Well, William must be good luck because uh, beautiful Martin. Nice big male. Nice orange one. Good throat patch. A little almost white canary on the bottom. So, pretty awesome. What do you say, Will? What do you say? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is our second last check, and beautiful Martin. Really nice color on this one. Kind of got the silvery and chocolate. Just a young one, but uh, yeah, that's number forty-nine, sir. So. I believe so. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. So. Uh, be Martin. hitting 50 today, hopefully. All right, beautiful margin. Nice light one. Right by our uh, coyote wolf bait, so that's cool. It's on the edge of a field here, but uh, that tree right there, we've caught a few over the last couple of years. So. All right, nice light colored one again. On the uh, leaning pole. This one had a bit of a mice eating issue, but it still did the job. So, not mice on the Martin. Martin's in great shape, but robbing the bait. So, that's number three for the day and number 51 on the season. So, pretty good. All right, next box down the line, and we got ourselves a squeezel. Yeah, nice looking male airman, so. Alright, keep going down the line. Alright, we seem to be on a roll with the weasels. There's a big weasel. Action has definitely picked up the last box. We had a lynx set off our Martin trap and pulled out of it and uh, this one we got some other critter getting quite the variety today is it stuck in there yeah. what do you got me oh I'll yeah caught like that. that's quite the it must have actually squeezed by the first time we got caught trying to get out yeah that's cool 
nice mink. It's crazy. We uh, had zero mink last year. Mink number four this year. Mm -hmm. is actually a government project that I'm supposed to be trapping mink for uh, at $500 a piece. They're trying to get live ones for a research project. But uh, fortunately, I just don't have time to live trap them because you got to check them every day. And when it's cold, it's not good to live trap when it's that cold. So we're going to uh, try that again later on when there's no babies. Very next box. And nice big male Martin right behind the ears. Awesome. Big male, so that's good. Don't like catching the juveniles, so let's get a big old male, and that's smart number what? 50. Two? Three. Yeah, well, but number four today, right? Yes. Or, or five. So while we were figuring out how many mark we actually have, which is 52, we got four today and then two weasels and a mink so far but Silas was just saying you know I said I don't like catching the juveniles but he was correcting me in some sense but it's true that really it's better to catch the juveniles in that they uh, a lot of them don't survive their first year and a lot of them don't make the winter just because they're not educated yet and uh, you know with their mortality being around 70% from is that what you've read Seth? Something like that. I think I've heard that, but someone can uh, comment and correct that if that's not the case. Probably, obviously, depends on what type of habitat they're in in the winter that they get. But um, it uh, definitely is more renewable. Targeting juveniles, um, definitely try not to catch the mature females. So uh, last year we got almost all mature males in this area. Now that we've taken the numbers down a bit. There's quite a bit more juveniles, but the uh, big males do kill the juveniles, so uh, that's part of it. I've been going all day, it's getting dark, so we've got elk walking right by our box, and kind of light there, sir. Oh, looks like a nice big male, hey? Yeah, looks like it. The first one out of this box this year. Did we do have one here last year? We didn't have a box here last year. No, I think it's. First time I was beginning to give up on this one, but awesome, it's cooled right off here in the evening. All right, so pretty much 12 hour day on the line, and, and how do we make up? Uh, pretty good, we had a bit of a blank stretch for a while, but now it's changed, we got Baker's Dozen today, I guess. Yep. We got three, three squirrels, three weasels, six marten, and meat. Not too shabby. Well, it's kind of a bittersweet day today. We are pulling traps, but we got number 55. You see the other side, that's nice. Yeah, beautiful Martin. Great shape, has some nice white, white hairs to it. So we'll, uh, yeah, we're gonna pull half the line today, half the line tomorrow. And uh, the season is done, I think. Is it Sunday or Monday? Not sure. Okay, Whatever the end of the month is. Yeah, that's our last week. Well, the very next box. Another big view from Martin. That big male looks like. Beauty, big male, big kid. Uh, what number are we at now? 56, sir, please. Yeah, 56, so. That's good. It's funny. This spot, as I was just saying, uh, last year was uh, not productive at all. Um, but this is the edge of our trap line. Actually, you can see there's a fence or it's like a grazing leaf. And uh, I think it's because we there's just no one strapping on the other side of that fence. So the Martin are moving in, uh, filling the gap from the ones we took out on this side last year. So either way, uh, it's awesome. I was just about to say to Silas that this box has never produced for us. We kind of have all year. I don't think we've caught any yet. But uh, anyways, three boxes in a row. Caught some nice, beautiful Martin, so it's awesome. 
So I took the box off the tree. As we go, we uh, remove all our boxes. There's no requirement. Some people do leave boxes out year round, but I find the bears destroy them here and just kind of helps us keep a lower profile. This, this nice guy has kind of some silvery, a lot of orange, still fully prime yet. So that's awesome. Uh, yeah, and we leave the bait out. Uh, just helps the marten make it through the rest of the winter. And, um, you know, they'll associate that lure in this spot with some free food. So we choose to use it next year we can. There's another box that uh, wasn't producing before. But a big male marten in it. So that's pretty good. Take a look see what we got there, son. Kind of on the river back here. Someone's got a bear bait here. Interesting. It's wet on the back, but oh yeah. I was wondering if that fur is awesome. Turn around. Yeah, big look at that head. Super light face. Big old head. Big male. Yeah, that's awesome. Beautiful Martin. Yeah, beautiful guy. Martin number 58. So we might make 60 after all, maybe even today. Awesome. All right, we're checking what we call Uncle Pike's loop, and uh, got a nice weasel, good size with the male, and uh, we'll keep on down the line. So I was just dipped out to the shed for half an hour. I did four taxidermy quality Martin. Well, an hour. <laughs> it was an hour. Okay, I was trying to make you look good, but uh, even that, that thinking that's about not bad. It. Four taxidermy. Uh, quality in and out. Um, all these ones left here. I'm just uh, going to take some pictures for some buyers so they can pick which ones they want. And boom! This line has slowed down for a little bit, but oh, that's a really nice char chocolate one. Look at the chin patch too. Boom! That's a mount to that one. So nice. Yeah, really nice fur on this one. Lots of silver, it's really dark chocolate. Really thick, soft, silky under fur. Awesome. Alright, two in a row, so it might be better than I thought. Yeah, nice, good size weasel. Nice head catch. Sweet. It's frozen. It's been for a while. Okay. That's yeah, a little while ago. Or probably from last night, it's actually. Because it was cold enough last night and it's small enough, right? Yeah. We got a bit of a mystery on the camp. First blue by here, I thought it was maybe a rabbit. It got killed. Looks like it's, it's not moose. I think it's deer hair. Took some chunks out of its hide. But, uh, coyote tracks. I don't know if the coyotes tried to take down the deer and failed. I don't know what, the snow isn't right, right for tracks. So not entirely sure, to be honest. Let's go over here. Oh, 
Everyone thinks that uh, you know, pumping is cool and not in the natural death in the wilderness is the way to go. Uh, wouldn't quite agree. I had some major struggle. Blood and guts everywhere. They got it. Killed the uh, small white tail. Cleaned it up. Yeah, looks like coyotes killed it. I was wondering for a second if it was looking for cougar tracks or wolves or something. It's kites. The wolf or whatever did touch that scapula right up. Well, for people who say that these western coyotes don't kill deer, we cut this one in the act for sure. It's a, you know, it's not a big deer, but it's not a small deer either. Oh, it's coyote because they couldn't crunch these. Rib cage is so good. You can tell that they did eat some of the ends, but uh, Wolf will just snap that right up and look for wolf tracks. There's none. Thought it could have been a cougar, but uh, no, coyotes definitely killed this. It took them a while. It was gory, but they got the job done. Number 60. What do you think? That's fine. That's good. So we've been. Kind of were hoping we'd hit 60. Not done yet, but that was kind of the goal, so that's awesome. This creek set here uh, is one, one of our best sets historically, but we haven't caught one in the last couple checks. Oh, and this has a white tip tail too. That's cool. But uh, yeah, finally uh, moving again a little bit here, so that's awesome. We got uh, how many more boxes left to check? Um, a dozen. A dozen, and then we're done for the year, so. Nice juvenile male. First still really good. Number 61. It was blind in one eye. See the difference? The one eye is uh, kind of oversized and empty. Yeah. But, uh, nice Martin. Fresh, fresh. It's still soft. And the very next box. And what do we got? I want to know who's. Martin, Ooh. we're on a roll. We're at 62. We might, we might beat, might match it next year. Who know? I mean, last year it was 65. So this one looks like a big male. Another perfect head catch. Big male Martin. Nice color. Little orange. Awesome, awesome. And the very next box, number 63. Bait we put here a while ago and wolves are on it, so I have to go set it. Where else seems to have taken ownership of my Martin box? We're always trying to get into the bait compartment of our Martin box. They actually do eat meat, though this guy's eating the plywood. On our way home from checking traps, how many you said? You caught those two Yeah, I have this. 18 wheel deer, there's another one across the road right away. I think I counted that one. It's not a bad little buck, actually, it's a bigger buck. Over. 
Wide, not very tall. Or heavy. This one over here is taller. Just crossing those. 